Kitty, Jupiter. Let's go. Well, not a good idea. Why? Hmm, that's an exciting situation to explore. Hey friends, as we know, Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. But have you ever wondered why no one talks about landing on it despite all the space? Well, in today's episode, let us find the reason behind it and answer an uncharted question. What if you fell into Jupiter? Zoom in! Jupiter is the fifth planet of our solar system and the largest, heaviest, oldest and fastest spinning among its peers. So, no wonder the Romans consider it as the god of thunder and lightning. But despite its mighty qualities, no one dares to step on its surface. Why? Because there is no surface on Jupiter in the first place. Yes, my dear friends, Jupiter is made of a supercritical fluid which shares the properties of both liquid and gases and has a seemingly endless stretch of atmosphere. So, in case you step on it, there are chances that you might find yourself free falling into it. But only if you are dressed in a special spacesuit with super powerful abilities. Yes, if we jump towards Jupiter in the regular spacesuit, we won't make it anywhere near it. Because around 300,000 kilometers from its surface, radiation will penetrate our suit and disintegrate us. So, before leaping, let us make sure to suit up in specially made armor that could survive for a while and see what happens next. Once we jump, we will notice that we are falling at an incredible speed of 180,000 kilometers per hour, which is way faster than falling on the Earth's atmosphere. Yes, that's because Jupiter's gravitational pull is way stronger than the Earth's. So falling with such a speed, soon we will find ourselves about 250 kilometers down into the ammonia clouds and experience its bone-chilling temperature of minus 150 degrees Celsius, despite the sun's visibility. But don't worry, our special suit is designed to keep you warm. However, what it can't protect you from is the mighty wind force whirling around with a speed of up to 482 kilometers per hour. So soon we will find ourselves tossing and turning in a giant tornado as Jupiter is the fastest rotating planet in our solar system. But for the sake of this video, let us assume that we managed to fight the raging winds and descend around 120 kilometers more. But you won't be the first one to achieve this milestone as in 1995, NASA's Galileo probe managed to reach there before the pressure of Jupiter's atmosphere destroyed it. But don't worry, we have a special suit that could bear this much pressure. So let's go further down where it's pitch dark. And the only source of light we have is the flashes of lightning caused by the storms rumbling around us. At this point, the temperature will start to increase and so the physical pressure, which is more than thousand times higher than on Earth's surface. But thankfully, we are protected by a special suit. So, we'll keep falling for hours and hours as the temperature will keep rising along with the pressure. And as you reach the inner layers of Jupiter, there'll be parts that you'll be able to swim through a substance that's not quite liquid or gas, known as a supercritical fluid. And once we cross this strange substance, the temperature will get hotter and hotter and reach a level equivalent to the sun's surface. 
And if that isn't enough, you'll also be experiencing pressure equal to 2 million times the pressure on Earth. Over here, we will be surrounded by metallic hydrogen. This relatively unknown substance can be a dense liquid that we won't be able to escape from. But we are determined to touch Jupiter's surface. Let's use our super suit and fall down thousands of kilometers until we hit something solid. This solid object is Jupiter's core, weighing in at 25 Earth masses, made of rock and exotic ices that can only exist under the crushing pressure of 25 million atmospheres. Which means we are better off on Earth. Trivia time! Did you know Jupiter has 67 moons? Also, it has been visited seven times by human spacecraft. Hope you learned something new in today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Let's go. Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs>